morning to all. My name is Monique Tuzon and welcome to the kickoff of Global Roundup, a weekly recap beginning mid last week to today of the most eventful and breaking stories shaping the planet and mankind brought to you by the news media giants Voice of America and a Johns Franz Press. In this week's events from North, East, West and South, the big story was excellence in sports on the world stage and the distaff way. And it was La Roja, Spain's women's soccer team who reigned supreme in Sydney, Australia, beating England in the title match for the much-coveted FIFA World Cup 2023. But an unintended pecker by Spain's Football Federation chief on one of the team's star in the medal ceremony nearly ruined the jubilation and celebration, drawing backlash from all over the planet on charges of sexism, harassment, to even outright sexual assault. In Hawaii, the remains of another transplanted and elderly Filipino migrant was found neath the ashes, bringing to three the Filipino casualty toll, while the total body count stayed at 114 and the number of missing at 850 as search and rescue activities are set to transition to search and recovery phase. But while it was somber and gloomy in the aftermath of Hawaii's deadliest blaze and calamity ever, there was cheering and merrymaking in Guatemala when a former president's son, an anti-corruption crusader, won the presidency via a landslide. This as a struggling Latin American nation deals with the challenge of widespread government corruption, gang violence on the street, food insecurity, and a mass and desperate migration northward to the United States. Over in the Orient, the black U.S. soldier who ran for the border and successfully crossed over the demilitarized zone to North Korea, well, Pyongyang has reportedly confirmed his disgruntlement with the United States government and affection to Kim Jong-un country. In Taiwan, its vice president recently came home from a visit to Paraguay and a stopover in the United States that Beijing responded to with an aerial show over Taiwan airspace and a simulated blockade around the self ruled island's waters. And Japan, South Korea and the United States met in Camp David over the weekend for a historical trilateral pact on intensified security and defense cooperation. And that was a summary of the past week's major international events. And don't forget to catch us next week at this time for the Global Roundup here at PTV. My name's Monique Tuzon and good evening.